I'm Bogo and this is uh, Koi, my fiance. So, we are here to talk to you about our account in story, rather than your boss numbers. Yes. When Pastor M was preaching. Yeah, that's when account main Babono 3.0 project started. We were given the social loans that have you list down your pledge. We both don't have steady incomes. So, the account me in project was a Seems bot. Like, <laughs> like way It was yeah. a joke. <laughs> we could joke. not contribute. <laughs> I remember sitting, we were sitting next to each other at service and I remember sitting saying, oh God, I'd love to give, but honestly, there's nothing. We have a child coming. I remember Pastor M told people to pray, pray about it, that uh, God will guide you towards okay, what you give. They did not come out of church without an answer. What I felt at that moment was that when I was praying, like, you have a car, sell it and give it to God. How do I start mm. telling Mbogwa? I got that revelation because God communicates to us in ways that we can understand. It was really extremely hard to tell her. I remember thinking the same thing. Oh, 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 oh. In fact, the number of strategies that came into my mind how I was going to do it without telling him. And you're still at service, you turned around and you looked at me, and then I looked at you, then I lingered your story and then looked at you in front. <laughs> so I tell you, looking at me still. Then he told me, so what do you think about this 3.4 for my It's mm -hmm. good. So that you don't bring up the story, but I have to say what I felt. Yeah, somehow she met me halfway. Uh, I giggled first. When we were talking about it, he's the one who broke the ice. It, it was amazing how... <laughs> Later on as we spoke... God confirmed. What I felt... You know, the same thing to both of us. At the same time, I mean... It was like, whoa. Yeah. So when we went to the house, as we were going, that was the conversation. Because first it has to sink in and you're thinking, Wow, that's a really big thing. Because I remember when I shared it to some of family that we wanted to do this. What are the kind of responses we got? We got, in fact, most people put us aside. Mm. Like, and, uh, this one's now they've we're talking like, about Christians. They have been blinded by this thing called church. This mm. one's now it's a it's, cult. No, it's an obsession. <laughs> it's an obsession. Yeah, it's <laughs> an obsession. <laughs> and we finally did it. I remember thinking when you were holding that envelope, it was in my bag. Before we gave it out, I remember thinking, wow, huh. now we have a child. And we're going to give all this money out to God. Mm. And you know what I told myself? Devil, go back. I don't want to hear your stories. You might not really have a whole lot, but it's something small that the Lord tells you. For this, my work. You can use this. For us, it was for my work. Mm. You can use our car. Mm. You can use the car that I blessed you with in the first place. It's amazing. I mean, the feeling you get when you give. Because when you do it genuinely with all your heart, with the no strings attached. And I think that's what God admires. The most humbling thing is, it's not that when you give, you'll get something in return. But just the peace of knowing that you've contributed to God's work, that your story will influence somebody. Just even though it's just one person and no one else, you've done something. It's better mm. than nothing. Mm. You know?